hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are in st thomas we are looking at the construction of the southern coastal highway from harborview to port antonio so we are at the sun coast adventure park area straight ahead is the entrance to the sun coast adventure park and behind us is the sun coast beach club that is being built so what we're looking at now is a section of the existing road that was upgraded to four lanes and then we're now going to look at the section we're looking at now is a new section of the highway that was built so this section was built over the hill it was built from scratch it goes from 11 miles to the sun coast adventure park now, i'm not sure why they decided to take the alignment over the hill and not continue along the existing main road because from harborview to 11 miles the highway runs along the existing roadway that roadway has been upgraded to four lanes a dual carriageway or it's in the process of being upgraded but from 11 miles bull bay to where we are now the section we are looking at a new road was built from scratch it was built over the hill the terrain though basically a new alignment was built and then here at the sun coast adventure park the first road we showed you on the left is where the new section joins back to the existing main road so the new section from 11 miles to the sun coast adventure park merges back with the existing roadway and the existing roadway is being upgraded to four lanes so i'm not sure why they decided to go over the hill and build a new road from 11 miles to the sun coast adventure park but i can tell you this the view is amazing on that section of the road we have videos up of it on the construction and driving on it and it's amazing it's really nice but that's what they did and this is where the new road that they built joins back to the existing road now some people were saying that okay let's go when this is going to be and basically a mini interchange you can get on and off of the highway from this section now what you're looking at straight ahead is where the existing road used to be so you can use that road to access the sun coast adventure park and basically the sun coast beach cl um, club you can use that entrance as well so some people were saying they were going to build a bridge from that road back to the existing road but no bridge is going to be built if you notice the jersey barrier on the right that's where it ends the jersey barrier has a break in it and on the other side it's the same thing there you can see the jersey barrier ends so you can if you're on the highway this section you're looking at is going to be six lanes there are going to be two turning lanes so you have the regular two lanes or four lanes basically if you're going on the highway but if you want to turn and access the old main road you can do it here because both sides of the road will have a turning lane now that entrance well i mean it will be very hard to go straight across but nonetheless you're going to have turning lanes there and there are quite a few spots along the highway where there's a break in a jersey barrier and you will have turning lanes so those sections that have the turning lanes will have six lanes at that intersection so there you can see they're in the process of paving it now this section is to be finished in august of 2023 the section from the harborview bridge to the yalos bridge which this section falls in that area is to be finished in august so there you can see the jersey barriers on both sides and you'll have plenty of space to maneuver and access the side roads so if you're on the old road and you want to access the highway you can do it from here as well so we're just giving you an update as to what's going on here and to let you know no bridge will be built across this highway it will be just the turning lanes
Now the reason why we said the thing about building a new alignment is because from this roadway from Harborview to Yalos is 17.4 kilometers. And for most of the roadway, it runs along the existing road that has been upgraded to four lanes. The existing road has been upgraded to four lanes. But in two sections, they decided to build a new alignment going over the hill in both sections. This is one section, and the other section is from Albion Heights to Grand Spen. But outside of those two sections, the road runs along the existing roadway for the entire section from Harborview to Yalas. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. We'll keep you guys updated on this project. We are, we are going to make videos every week giving you an update on this project as we get closer to the August 2023 deadline. Alright guys, enjoy the rest of the video and remember to like, share and subscribe and also leave your comments in the section below. Alright guys, have a good day.